Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Hema and you're watching me on Proid Academy. In my last video, I have spoken about important preparation tips and strategies to crack NEET 2020 easily. And if you guys have missed to watch it out, I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. You guys can go and definitely check it out. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys how to study and prepare NCRT textbook of biology effectively for NEET. Each one of us know, every one of us know that 70 to 75 out of 90 questions comes directly from the NCRT textbook. And everyone follows that same textbook and everyone has that same 24 hours in our hand. So why is that one student is able to get good marks in biology section and other one is not able to get? So is there anything which a student who gets full marks in biology section does something different? Or are there any few things which has to be kept in mind while studying NCRT biology for NEET? Yes, to answer all your questions, there are few things, there are certain things which has to be kept in mind while studying NCRT biology for NEET. So let's get started. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you how to study and prepare NCRT biology effectively and efficiently for NEET. So first and the foremost, when you start to read NCRT book, read each and every word carefully. Each and every sentence is important. Try to understand the meaning of it and then try to remember it. Don't just focus on mugging everything blindly because you have to understand the concepts well because many conceptual quest conceptual based questions are asked in biology. When you're reading something and when you're not able to remember something, make sure that you make notes in the form of small sticky notes or notes in the form of flowcharts will help you to remember things very easily. And the next important thing is read each and every sentence carefully, each and every word carefully. Each and every sentence is important. Never miss out on anything because you never know that any sentence can be asked in the form of a question. And when you're reading something, make sure that you underline and highlight the important things with the help of a colored marker because it will help you to, uh, it will help you to seek your attention and uh, especially during the time of revision, it will be very easy for you to uh, read, the under, read the underline and highlighted things from the textbook. And focus on the sentences with except. For example, let's say all living organisms except so and so. So that except so and so can be asked in the form of a question. So these kind of things are very, very important when you're reading the NCRT textbook. Now the next important thing is, Sometimes questions in the form of full forms or abbreviations are asked. In that case, make sure that you read the options carefully and then choose the right answer appropriately because many students get confused and they, instead of choosing one answer, they choose the other one, which tends to incorrect, which, which tends to be wrong. So don't do that. Read the options carefully and then uh, choose the appropriate answer when a full form is asked in the exam. And next, very, very important thing is diagrams. Practice the diagrams well. All the diagrams based questions comes directly from NCRT. There is no such question which comes out, outside of NCRT. So make sure that you read the labelings very carefully. You, you, you be thorough in all the labelings very well. And then smallest to smallest thing which is mentioned below the diagram is equally important. Never miss out on it because the thing which is mentioned below the diagram also is asked sometimes in the exam. So never miss out on that. And one more important thing is last line. So last paragraph or last, I mean, conclusion of the chapter is very important. Most of the students just ignore reading the last paragraph or the last lines of the chapter. Never do that. Never skip that part because sometimes questions are asked from that last paragraph or last lines as well. So never ever ignore and go to the next chapter. Do not do that. We all know that the syllabus is vast and you have to remember each and everything, whatever you have studied well. So for this revision is a must. Keep revising the older topics which you have covered so far. That will help you to retain the information for a long period of time. Revise the underline and highlighted important things carefully. Revise the notes which you have prepared in the form of sticky notes or flow charts. Revise the diagrams. Each and every labeling is important. Revise them again and again. That will really help you to retain the information for a long period of time. Right? And NCRT biology is something when you read the chapter for the first time, you get to know something. For the second time you read, you get to know something else. The third time you read, something else will come. So again, be thorough in everything. Read the chapter again and again till you become thorough or till you become a master in it. And the last very important thing is when you have completed reading one chapter, make sure that you do the MCQs of that chapter. Do Take any good reference book, start doing MCQs of that particular chapter so that you can know actually like what type of questions are asked from that particular chapter and if you are able to attempt them correctly or not. If needed, you can just go back and again read the chapter thoroughly. So this is very important. Start doing MCQs as soon as you complete reading one chapter. 
So guys, these are the few things like which you have to keep in mind while studying or preparing NCERT Biology for NEET. And trust me guys, following this will really help you to get good marks or full marks in biology section. Thank you so much for watching. Stay positive, stay focused, stay motivated. I'll see you all soon in my next video. Till then, bye.